Article 49. We, the undersigned residents of Hampton, petition the town of Hampton to place on the warrant the request to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the, su- the amount of $7,000 to support One Sky Community Services in their efforts to provide vital support and services to those individuals with developmental and intellectual disabilities who reside in the town of Hampton in the town's 2018 budget. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 3-0. Recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee, 8 to 1 to 2. Fiscal impact note, the estimated 2018 tax impact on $7,000 is two-tenths of one cent per $1,000 of valuation. Uh, I have been handed an amendment uh, to uh, reduce the amount um, by the proponent. Uh, and there he is, Mr. Munns. So, Mr. Munns, would you like to explain what your amendment is? And we'll just move right to that. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, yeah, the amendment, uh, we originally requested $7,000 um, in support, but um, subsequently realized that um, we had based our calculations on the total number of individuals that One Sky supports in Hampton, and that includes about 19 infants that are already getting support from the town through, or that the town is already supporting through the Ritchie McFarland Center in Stratum. So we didn't feel it was appropriate for us to request funding for those 19 in addition to the 51 adults that we support. So that's why we're reducing the the request from 7,000 to 5,100. So there's a amendment by Mr. Munns to reduce the figure from 7,000 to 5,100. Is there a second? Yes. Uh, Seconded by Mr. Jones. So uh, all those um, uh, in favor of opening discussion and uh, amending Article uh, 49 uh, so that it reads $5,100. Please raise your voter card. Down cards. All those opposed. All right. So the article has been amended. Um, Mr. Munns, do you wish to speak further on it, or you feel that the, your discussion on the amendment speaks um, to the article as well? Well, I feel like I've addressed the uh, the amendment. I would like to speak to the article sure. itself, but if that's... Yep, uh, no, go right ahead. Okay, great. Um, again, my name is Chris Munns. I'm at, I live at 5 Nersessian Way. I'm also the uh, Chief Executive Officer of One Sky Community Services, and uh, I'm sure that most of you here are probably asking, you know, what or who is One Sky Community Services, and I wanted to just take a minute to explain to you the service that we're providing to the Town of Hampton. Um, One Sky Community Services is a private nonprofit New Hampshire corporation that's been providing supports and services to individuals with developmental disabilities and acquired brain disorders to the residents of Hampton and elsewhere throughout Rockingham County since 1983. If you know someone who was born with Down syndrome or has autism or has a brain injury as a result of an accident, chances are that we've been working with them for many years. Our focus is to help individuals we serve achieve the same things all of us want. A safe and secure place to live in their community, a loving and caring relationship with at least one special person, and the chance to pursue their personal and professional goals as a member of our community. Through through our contract with the State of New Hampshire, we are the agency designated to provide state and federally funded Medicaid services to eligible individuals and families living in the 24 cities and towns in Rockingham County we cover. Uh, Hampton is one of those communities and uh, we are currently providing supports and services to about 70 individuals and families living in our community and as I mentioned previously 19 of those are individuals supported by the Richie McFarland Children's Center in Stratum who is a subcontractor to us. In total, we receive about $25 million from the state of New Hampshire to help us fulfill the state's commitment to the people we serve. I realize that that sounds like a lot of money, uh, and we are very grateful for that support, but we currently serve about 1,000 individuals and families throughout all 24 cities and towns in our services area. $1 million of that total goes directly to support the individuals who we serve who are living in Hampton right now. The funding enables us to provide a range of supports, including early intervention services to families of young children, uh, birth to age three, working with the local school districts to assist children with developmental disabilities between the age of three and 21, and assisting individuals over the age of 21 develop a service plan to meet their needs in the community-based setting uh, where they live. Uh, Unfortunately, the funding we receive from the state 
has not kept up with either the growing demand for services or the rate of inflation. Uh, many of the people that we serve live longer now. The mortality rate among high-risk newborns has declined, which everyone agrees is a fantastic um, um, situation. But what it does mean is that more children enter life with additional special challenges. Since 2005, the incidence of autism has increased by 11 percent, and uh, there has been no adjustment in the rates that we have received from the state to pay for the services that we provide for the last 10 years. So the money we're receiving doesn't go nearly as far as it once did. And in, 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 in addition, the lion's share of the money we receive is, from Medicaid is a direct pass-through to cover very specific supports and services that Medicaid allows. It does not cover a number of things that, when available, add significantly to the overall quality of our clients' lives. And those are things like dental services, uh, real and meaningful employment training, and support solutions to transportation challenges that people face and things like educational camp sponsorships and just basic things like gas, food, and home heating vouchers. Um, to help us address that gap, we created what we call the One Sky Readiness Fund, and the money we raise for that fund is used to directly benefit the individuals we serve um, uh, to address those needs that I, I mentioned are not covered by Medicaid. This year, we're reaching out to each of the cities and towns in our services area to ask each town to also make a small $100 per person served uh, donation to our, our, our efforts so that we can continue to provide those extra supports. And as I had mentioned, based on the 70 people from Hampton we currently served, our original request was 7,000, but for the reasons I mentioned and uh, that are reflected in the um, amendment, we're now re lowering that to $5,100. Um, I want to thank the people who signed our petition, um, and um, I also hope that this um, article will be approved and that this can be the start of an ongoing partnership between One Sky and the Town of Hampton. So thank you very much, and um, appreciate your time. Thank you, Mr. Runs. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 49? Is the article or the menu? Well, we passed the amendment, so Great. the article as amended, Great. which reflects a $5,100 request. This uh, article came to the Budget Committee at the last minute. Uh, the Budget Committee overwhelmingly voted it down because we didn't have any information. Subsequently, Chris Munns came in and told us about it at the public hearing at the Budget Committee. And uh, because of a procedural matter, I was unable to get all my questions answered. So I abstained. So I'm one of the two up there. I hope to be able to change that to the affirmative. I want to congratulate Chris for his, um, well, I guess, honesty and, and uh, coming forth and reducing this after recalculating and tightening this up without a whole lot of political pressure to do so. I'd like to see uh, kind of more of that honesty. I really appreciate that very much, Chris. And so I now support this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Uh, Ms. Gravitz? Barbara Kravitz, 8 St. Cyr. Just a quick word. I've known Chris for some time and uh, am really pleased to see that he's able to let you know the good work that One Sky does. I've seen him at work. I've seen the benefits to the clients that they serve, and I'm really very uh, pleased to support uh, the town's, in turn, support for what they do along with the other uh, agencies that uh, play a big part of, uh, di a bit, make a big difference in our town. Thank you, Ms. Kravitz. Uh, Ms. Kaiser? Yes. Ann Kaiser, 7 Palmer Street. Uh, just a couple of questions. If this article gets passed, will it now be added to the list of other organizations that the Hampton Town of Hampton supports every year without having to go through putting in a special warrant article. Can someone answer that? Current policy, Mr. Moderator, that's correct. Okay. And I also noticed on this list that uh, the Richie McFarland amount was reduced this year under the 20, uh, 2018 request. So I just want to make sure that. Um, 
by reducing this article that uh, Richie McFarland does have enough money to cover those children if you reduce this by. So I'll see if Mr. Munns can answer that question for you. And uh, okay, you're making you. reference to an earlier article, and I can't remember which number it was. But 16. 16, where all the other social services right. agencies who were seeking funding were listed. I don't know whether you have any insight into that, Chris, as to why Richie McFarland might have reduced it. I think what Ms. Kaiser is getting to is she doesn't want there to be any duplication and reduction. Um, yeah, the, um, quite frankly, the, the process that uh, Richard McFarland goes through to um, identify how much money they want to request is completely separate from us. Yeah. And they were, um, they were ahead of us in terms of their process. Um, so what we wanted to do was um, make sure that if that's what they feel that they need, that we just weren't also asking for anything on top of that. Okay. And they, if they... I can't remember the numbers, but if their number was reduced, uh, it may be, it probably is a result of the fact that they have had a slight reduction in the cases that they've been handling. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, anyone else wishing to be heard? Seeing none, uh, Article uh, 49 will appear on the ballot as amended. 